Hiya. Welcome along to this Smooth Moves presentation recorded for Sage House. Um, I'm Paul Cushway. I run fitness classes um, from a cabin. Um, I also run them out in the community and was visiting Sage House um, every other week to run seated um, fitness classes. So without further ado, we're going to get going. So find a chair, make yourself comfortable in the chair. And then when you sit down, just have a little rattle, have a little shake, get yourself nice and relaxed. So I've chosen nice, comfortable clothing to work out in. You don't have to put sports gear on. Anything that you can just move easily in is fine. You want the room nice and warm. Chair that I've chosen is a nice solid chair, so use a dining chair, that's perfect. If you have only got a, a soft chair, then just make sure that you're not sitting right the way back in it. No slouching today. So nice, long spine, shoulders down and back. Now, first thing we're going to do is just start by flicking and kicking. So we're just loosening up, getting our bodies ready for a little bit of exercise. The whole program takes about 40 minutes, but you don't have to do 40 minutes in one go. You could do it in little bite-sized pieces, stop it when you've done enough. We're going to start down in the legs, we're going to work our way up through the body. So on any given day, you might decide, oh, I'll just do my legs today, or you might decide to just do your upper body. That's fine. You could work up to maybe putting the whole thing together. What we're going to do, to start with, is we're going to do a little warm-up, then we're going to do some strength work, and then we're going to do some stretching to finish. So we've got three aspects that we're going to work with today. So a warm-up is really simple. What we want to do is raise our pulse rates, get our hearts working, pumping that blood around to our muscles so that our muscles are ready to work with us when we want to do our strength section. So each section, about 12 minutes long probably, um, as um, I work with the timings, it's all fairly free and easy. So when you're working with an exercise, if you get tired and you need to have a rest, just stop. If you've got any injuries, like replacement knee, stiff shoulder, again, don't force yourself to do something that's uncomfortable. Work with the safest range of movement that you can. So we're going to get going. So we're nice and relaxed. Nice big breath in before we start. Let that breath go. It comes out long and slow. And we're ready. So all I want you to do with your feet is tap out. Right foot, left foot. We tap the foot to the floor. I'm tapping it with my toes. Again, don't overstretch. Brilliant. That's it. And then after a few forward taps with the toes, I'm going to turn my toes up out of the way. You can see the sole of my shoe now. And I'm tapping the floor with my heels. Same action, but I'm turning my toes up out of the way. So I've already started to use the ankles a little bit. So all this is doing is just warming us up, starting to get the muscles of the legs working. Fabulous. And then bring the feet back underneath you. Lovely. We're going to go out to the side, to the centre, out to the side, to the centre. Turn the leg out and replace it back in front of you. You don't have to lift the knee too high. Don't swivel out of your seat. So you want to remain in full contact with your seat through all the exercises. But this is warming up the muscles of the groin in the outer and inner thighs. And we do two more. And then back to the middle. Brilliant. We're going to go with a high knee and just a little bit of a kick. So you can see I'm lifting my leg up in the air now. I'm going for as much extension as I can get on the leg as possible. So when I kick the foot up, my leg's virtually straight. We'll go right leg and left leg. Last two. One, two, 
and relax. Fabulous. Next one is we're going to lift the knee without extending the leg. So we're going to come up and down. So again, right leg, left leg, but this time the foot stays underneath me and the knee comes up towards my chest. So as if you were walking upstairs, if you could possibly do that while sitting in the chair, but you're working the muscles, you're getting your hip flexors working. These are the muscles that sit right at the top of the thighs. Really nice. We'll do two more. And relax. Brilliant. So we've worked through the legs. We're going to have a little go into this bit, our midsection, our waist section. Now, make sure you remain in full contact with your chair. But all I want you to do is a little slide down. You're not trying to reach down for the floor, literally just rolling your shoulders. That's it. Just get that spine moving. So you're using your abdominal muscles on the sides here. Squeeze yourself over. Sit upright and back you come. That's lovely. We'll do a couple more. And then up to the middle. Excellent. Now, some of us might have sore shoulders. So with this next section, just be a little bit careful. Obviously, anything above our heads can be a little bit tricky. But what we want to do is work with as much range of movement as possible in our shoulders. So what I'd like you to do is reach one arm towards me through the screen and then place it back on the thigh. And then other arm extension, retraction and repeat. That's good. So extend forwards and back, relax down on your lap. Last two. One, two. Very nice. So that's out. Now we're going to go up. Now this is the one where you might have some problems. So again, if it's tight, just go where you can or come out to the side. You can stick your elbows out or follow me. reach across just one arm at a time looking for that range of movement that's what it's about getting those shoulders working so if you can't do that one remember you're doing this one they both work you can use either you can mix them up i don't mind give it a go fitness is all about finding the things that you can do and there's always ways around things i found as i got older I can't do some things as well as I used to, but I've adapted them. And up and out. One more. Brilliant. Relax. Excellent. Good. Starting to warm up. Hope you are. We've done extension. We've done elevation. We're going to do retraction. So what I want you to do now is pick those arms up and then one arm, elbow goes back, arm comes forwards. Lead with the elbow going behind you. So I'm working with my arms staying quite high. I'm not letting them rest in my lap now. And my hands are pretty much up in line with my shoulders. So I'm reaching back and forwards. Back and forwards. Feels really nice, this one. I like this one. If you want to, give it a go. Both together. You don't have to do this. But it feels nice. You've got your shoulder blades sliding round and together behind you. Right, so I've lost count, so we're just going to do one more. And then relax. Roll the shoulders. Brilliant. How you feeling? So we've started to move. We've started to get our bodies ready. And I don't know about you, but I've started to warm up. So I'm going to just take my jacket off. Excuse me. Fabulous. So we now move on to the next section, which is the strength section. 
Now with the strength section, we're working our muscles. So at home, if you're out and about in the garden, if you're up and down stairs, you're using your muscles. Excuse me, without even realizing it. So what we need to do is keep those muscles strong and get them to work. So we're gonna work with the calf muscles. These are the big guys in the lower part of the legs. So place your hands above your knees on your thighs. Now, lift your heels off the floor. I hope you can see that clearly. It's gonna swivel around, stay where you are. And so my heels come up and my heels come down. Now, if you're strong, and these are strong muscles, if you can feel that working, then great, keep that going. It's really good for your ankle mobility as well. If you want to apply a little bit more pressure from your hands onto your legs, then you can make your calf muscles work that little bit harder. Two more. And then the lower. Brilliant. I'm going to swizzle back round. Excellent. Calf muscles. Thigh muscles. Again, if you're walking up and down the stairs, these are the muscles that are working. So what I'd like you to do, sitting nice and tall in your chair, you're going to take both your hands and place them palms up under one thigh. Now I've gone under my right thigh, but you can choose. It doesn't really matter. We're going to do both legs. So. What we do then is we do a slow motion kick until our leg is completely straight. Hold it. And then lower it to the floor. We're not going to change. We're going to stay with that leg. And we're going to do four on that leg. That was the first one. And then extension. I like to say lift it, lock it, lower it. So you're trying to get your leg as straight as possible in that extended position. So that's two. So number three coming. Lift and lock it if you can. Hold it there. Don't hold your breath when we're working. We want to keep the oxygen going in. Keep your breathing nice and relaxed. And lower. And then again, up we come. And then we relax. Last one. Lift. Lock it out. And bring it down. Smashing. That's quite strenuous. They're big muscles and they require a lot of blood to bring that leg up and hold it there. So well done. Got to do the other side. Same again. Palms up underneath your thighs. Now, extension, so lift, lock, that means lock the knee out, and then slowly back down. Obviously gravity wants your foot back, excuse me again, um, wants your foot back to the floor. Second one, up we come. So we're working our muscles using gravity as our weight and the weight of our leg. And that's number two, down we come. And number three, obviously you can vary the amount of time you hold the leg up. If you can only just get the leg up, fine, lift it up and lower it down. If you've got quite strong legs, lift it up, maybe make a bit of a challenge. See how long you can hold the leg up there. And last one. And relax. And we're down. Brilliant. Legs. Done. Arms. Shoulders. We're going to work with some exercises here and I'm going to use the opposite hand to work as my resistance, to work as my weight. But before we start with that, let's just put our arms on our side, give them a rattle and we're going to do a bicep curl. So you bring your knuckles up towards your shoulder. So right arm up to the right shoulder left arm up to the left shoulder and you can feel the muscle in the front of your upper arm your bicep muscle 
starting to contract as the fist comes up. The muscle in the back of the arm is working as we straighten the arm, but more of that in a minute. So I'll do right, left. Good. So we've started to warm those biceps up, the muscles here. So now we're going to work our right arm. So take your left hand and place it on your wrist of your right arm. Got it? That's it. Now, lift and relax. Now I'm using my left arm, sort of passive if you like, just adding a little bit of weight to that muscle. Now I'm going to do six repetitions, so I'm three in, four, five, and six. Excellent. And relax, good. Give the arms a little rattle between them. Um, Left side, right side, left arm out, right arm on the wrist. And then six. So there's our first one. And two. And three. Good. Keep them going. Four. I've got one more to do. There we go. Lovely. Good. Give the arms a shake. So biceps. So when the bicep here is contracting, the triceps and the back of the arm are lengthening. So muscles are elastic. They go both ways. Contraction, expansion. So we're now going to work the triceps. What we're going to do for this one is we're going to do a little bit of a box. So full extension on the arm, that engages the tricep muscles in the back of the upper arm. So I'm punching and then pulling my arm back. Now, as well as working my triceps, I'm also using my shoulders because my arms are up and my fists are out in front of my shoulders. So I get in sort of double bang from my back here. I've got my arms working and I've got my shoulders working. It's a good one. Last two. Fabulous and relax. Good. So into the shoulders proper now. And this time what I want you to do is arms here. Now I've turned my palms up. If you, do, if you can't turn your palms up, just make fists. So your knuckles facing backwards. Now, extension up towards the ceiling and then back down to your side. Now, if that's too much, if you can't go up above your head to here, then you go out to the side. So there's an alternative. If you can't go up, you go out. So we go up, we come down, or we can go out. I don't want to confuse you too much. You just pick the one that suits you. So I'm going to just stick with the one going up above my head. I've done it again, I've lost count, so we'll go with two, one, last one, smashing, down you come, roll the shoulders, chest and back, we're going to put these two together, so this one, we start from here, so just where we started with our shoulder press, but rather than going up or out, I'm going to come in and open, so Squeeze, and then relax and open. Lovely. You feel this one, there's a really nice breathing sequence that you can do with this one. So you breathe in when you open, and you exhale when you close. Breathe in, open your chest, sit tall, breathe out, palms together, hands together, fists together. Breathe in, open expansion, breathe out. Let's do two more. Breath in, breath out. Last one, breath in, breath out, relax. Excellent. So we're doing really well. We're going through, we're working with 
strength, we've done our mobility, we've done our warm up. What I'd like to finish with now is we're going to do a little section just on mobility. So flexing the muscles, but in a nice relaxed stretching kind of way. So what I'd like you to do, just sitting comfortably in your chair, place your feet out in front of you and point your toes and actively point them away from you. Now I've got trainers on, you might have your slippers on, you might have nothing on your feet, it's whatever feels the most comfortable. I'm just pointing my toes, and what that's doing, that's stretching the muscles in my shins. And that feels really nice. So letting the muscles go from working where they're tightening to stretching them. And then relax. Now, bring your feet in underneath you. Now, again, I'm just going to swizzle my chair. You stay where you are. But if I turn my chair sideways, now, I've placed my heels right in tight to the leg of the chair. Now I'm going to push down through my heels and that stretches the lower part of my calf muscles. So I'm still sitting up here, but it's my heels down to the floor that stretches my calf muscles. And we can relax. I'm coming back round. So those exercises are stretches for the lower legs and they're really nice stretches. They're very nice. Get those muscles stretched. Now, next one. Feet out comfortably in front of you. I don't want you to go very far. So what I want you to do is just lean forward. So I've got my hands on my thighs. And I'm leaning forwards, leaning forwards, but I'm not coming out of my chair. That's really important. So this is just stretching. We call it the rear chain. So from the glutes into your lower back. So you're just keeping your back straight and fold from your hips. And then ease yourself back up. So we're not looking to go very far. I don't want you to think that you've got to get all the way forwards. It's important that we stay comfortably in our chair. Now, ease down, ease down. That's it. So keep your head up, that's fine. You can either be looking at the screen or looking down between your feet. That would be what we would call a neutral line with your spine. And that's fine. But you need to see where I am and obviously just pop your head up so that you can see the screen. And then ease yourself back up. Brilliant. Now we're gonna do a little lean. So we've, we've gone forwards, we're now gonna go sideways. And again, full contact with the chair. And I'm going to send my right arm down the side. My left arm, I'm going to just grip the side of my chair so I don't overdo it, I don't go too far. Just lean and I get a nice stretch again through the open side of my body. So this side's the passive side. This side isn't stretching. It's the opposite side that I'm stretching. All through here and down the back of this arm and up in my shoulder. And then easy back up. And then, of course, we go the other way. So my right hand, I just guide into the chair and my left arm, I relax down towards the floor. But again, I'm keeping full contact through the chair as I lean and I get this nice stretch again through the open side of my body. Lovely, and easy back up. Smashing, roll your shoulders. So stretching is about letting the muscles open and giving them time to open. So when we're doing the stretching, I'm staying quite calm, quite passive. You don't wanna be doing a stretch, you can't do a stretch quickly. So let it develop nice and slowly. And it feels really nice, it's nice and relaxing. 
if you only had a few minutes in a session um, on any given day, I'd probably just do the stretching bit just because it feels nice and it's nice and relaxing. So we're going to stretch the top of our backs. So place one hand towards the screen and then place the other hand either in front or behind it. Now, from here, push the backs of your hands towards me. Now, what's happening here? Keep your arms up and keep your arms going with that push towards me. Your shoulder blades are coming round your back and that's opening the top of your back. It feels really nice. We hold a lot of tension up in our shoulders, so this is a really nice stretch. And relax down. Nice, good stretches. Now we're going up above our head. Again, if you can't go above your head, you're going out to the side. So you can stretch here. And again, if you're fine in your shoulders and your hands come up, then my hands have just disappeared. I appreciate that. But I'm reaching with my hands in that position above my head. And again, if you're not above your head, you're out there if you're trying to hold the walls back. Lovely and relaxed. Drop your arms to your side. Really nice stretches, working through the upper back. We're going to just stretch the neck. Our head's very heavy, so these muscles are working all the time. So we're going to give them a little breather now and let them have a little rest. So first thing we do is we're going to just tilt my left ear towards my left shoulder. Now my left shoulder doesn't come up, I keep my left shoulder down and I just tilt my head. So again, this side is the passive side. This side, the open side is the side I'm stretching. That feels really nice. And then we ease ourselves back to the centre, go the other way. So now I'm stretching the left side of my neck, ear towards my shoulder, not shoulder towards my ear. And then centre it up. The next one, we're going to look forwards, but we're going to keep our shoulders back. So I'm just going to drop my head forwards and look down at the floor, sort of roughly between my feet. This stretches the back of my neck. And then lifting your gaze up again, putting the cherry back on top of the cake. And the last one is to stretch the muscles in the neck and the throat. Now for this one, we want to push our chin forwards because it's not good to drop our heads right back. So I'm going to switch on my chair again. Stay where you are. Now, same position, exactly the same as we've done for left, right and back. And we're now going to go, uh, sorry, back, forwards. And now we're going to go up. So now I've extended my chin, push my chin forwards and get the muscles of the neck to open. And back into that neutral spine position. Back I come. How was that? Well done. If you manage to come right the way with me from the beginning of the session to the end, happy days, fantastic. You don't have to do that every day. Just add it into a little program. You might want to do little bits, as I say, take one section and just do that section. If you've done the whole thing, give yourself a round of applause. Very good. 
This session has been in conjunction with Sage House and it's been run by Paul Cushway of Smooth Moves Fitness. Thank you very much. If it goes really well and we get good feedback, always happy to do more. There's always more things that we can do sitting in our chairs. Well done. Have a lovely day. Thank you for joining. Thank you.